Hey guys, my name is Chaotic, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I am going to be answering the question, what is next for Grand Theft Auto 5? So in the past year and a half, ever since the game's release back in September of 2013, we have received a number of DLCs and updates every few months that provide us with new content, but ever since the game's launch, the most anticipated DLC has always been the Heist update, which we of course finally received a few weeks ago. I think it's fair to say that a huge portion of the GTA 5 community have only continued being active GTA 5 players all this time thanks to regular new content being added to the game and the long desire to play the heist missions once they became available. They were of course hyped to be a huge new element to the game that was going to add an exciting and greater range of things to do within the game. But with the addition of the heist update a few weeks ago and the majority of the community having already played a majority if not all the heist missions, I'm sure many of you are now looking towards the next step in the GTA 5 progression. Well firstly we of course have the release of GTA 5 on PC to look forward to next month on April 14th. Although there won't be many differences between the PC version and the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 version, we can expect to see a few additional features, these including improved graphics, a recording feature, but most importantly, the ability to create and use mods. It has been a long wait for the PC release, but hopefully it will have been worth it, and I myself, like many others, are looking forward to its release. But as for updates and new content to GTA 5 itself, both on consoles and PC, what can we expect to see next? Well, in the past few months, there have been many rumours and leaks of information suggesting a number of DLC possibilities, but one of these being a story mode DLC. The GTA 5 story mode is already a thrilling and enjoyable experience which can take days to fully complete. But there have been multiple rumours suggesting a possible story mode extension could be heading our way very soon. Several months ago, Sean Fonteno, the person that plays the character Franklin, posted a tweet on his official Twitter account stating he was going to the Rockstar Recording Studios to produce some new audio for his character. Well, seeing that GTA 6 is not in any development stages, and even if it was, there would be a complete new storyline and set of characters, it would therefore suggest that Rockstar are planning to develop a story mode add-on. Another huge feature that has been rumoured to be coming to Grand Theft Auto 5 is a casino or gambling DLC. As I'm sure you all know, there is a casino already in Los Santos, but it isn't currently in use. But there have been multiple leaks of information in the past 12 months that would suggest that Rockstar are developing an update that would not only allow us to access the casino building, but also have the option to use casino related features, including the ability to play poker, blackjack, roulette, slot machines and all that sort of stuff. In the heist update, there were many lines of game code hidden in the update itself that related to casino features. For example, a fully assembled slot machine was also found hiding in the code. But along with the casino DLC, we could also be receiving a lottery system and leaked game coding also supports this possibility. Some of you may recall that roughly a month and a half ago, there were multiple leaks of information suggesting a possible cops and crooks mode coming to GTA 5 online in the very near future. You may also be aware there is in fact a Cops and Crooks mode already in GTA 4 that was also added to the game in a DLC, and when it was first released it was a very popular feature. Recent game code leaks would suggest that GTA 5 may be receiving a very similar DLC. So there are many possible DLC features that could be coming our way within the next few months, but at the moment, the feature that has the most evidence to support the possibility of its introduction is the Casino DLC. There is a huge amount of hidden game coding relating to the feature. It may also be worth mentioning, there have also been many other leaks suggesting other features that may be coming to Grand Theft Auto 5 in the very near future, but these features, however, will most likely be included in a bigger update rather than be the primary feature. For example, there have been leaks suggesting an apartment editor could be coming, so you can customise your apartment. Also, a leaked line of game coding that was found a few weeks ago suggested an option to control your car indicators. I'm not too sure about you guys, but I wouldn't be too impressed if we received a car indicator DLC. But it would definitely be a very cool feature if it was included in a bigger update. But anyway, I'm sure you guys also have DLC ideas which you would like to see be added to the game. Something which I would like to see is a car auctioning feature, so users can sell their customised cars to other GTA 5 players. In my opinion, a car auctioning feature offers a lot of potential. But if you have any really cool DLC ideas which you would like to share, be sure to leave a comment on this video and let me know what you would like to see be added to GTA 5. Well, with that being said, that is pretty much it for this video, but I do hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you guys could take a few seconds out of your day to click the like button, it would help me out a lot, and it's also greatly appreciated. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel already, I'd recommend that you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. So once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.